Right, the Moors Million qualifier running on a Paul Moors, who was one of the founding fathers of the National Hunt League. One is Leaf River, Darren Thompson. Two, Ardglass Judith, David Robertson. Three, Quake, Paul Rhodes. Four, Silver Coup, James Shea. Five is Cirque, Martin Leadham. Six is Boomerang, Armen. Graham Clatterbuck. Seven is Cairo, Stu Gray. Eight, Rav Corbett, Alex Cherry. Nine, Thistle Down to Window, Padre Gogan. And ten is Long Stay, Dave Hooley. There's ten horses here in the Moore Millions qualifier. The first four qualify for a final of their choice. There's two finals in the final week. Some big prize money on offer. So Rab Covert leads for Alex Cherry from his second circ for Martin Leadham in the red colours. Up on the rail is uh, Quake. That'll be uh, Paul Rhodes's uh, mini coloured horses. Um, just poke it up between horses Boomerang Armand for Graham Clutterbuck. On the outside of that is uh, Long Stay for Dave Hoody. Out very wide is Cairo for Stu Gray as they jump the first. They're all over it well. Near the back of the field the grey horse is Art Glass Judas for David Robertson. Dropping to the back now Cirque. It was up in second a little while back. Just ahead of that is Silver Coup for James Shea. It's Rab Corbett Elite for Alex Cherry. From Leaf River in second for Darren Thompson. Up on the rail is a uh, Quake for Paul Rhodes. In between horses, long stay for Dave Uli. Out wide, thistle down the window for Patrick Hogan. Then comes uh, Graham Clutterbuck's Boomerang Armin. Silver Coup, James Shea's horse, just on the outside of that. And then comes Kyra for Stu Gray. Uh, Gray horse is Arglass Judas for David Robertson. And then Sir now at the back of the field for Martin Leadham. So Rab Corbett for Alex Cherry. He has distinctive colours, orange cap, orange sleeves. Who leads from Quake in second for Paul Rhodes. Then comes Leaf River for Darren Thompson. The Grey Horse moving from the back of the field. Now I'd lost Judith. They scrapped up into fourth. Long Stay is on the one outside. Slow jump over Long Stay. Better jump by Silver Coup on the outside. And then travelling wide, Kyra and Thistle down to Winder. The rails run as Boomerang Armin and Cirque at the back of the field with Long Stay, who's dropped to the back of the field after being prominent early on. Slow jump by the leader, Rab Corbett, and a very slow jump at the back by Long Stay. It's Rab Corbett leads from Quake in second. Then comes Leaf River for Darren Thompson. The Grey Horse is Arglass Judith for uh, Debbie Robertson. The green colours of Silver Coup, that'll be James shades also on the answer that the dark colours says uh Cara in the black colours the yellow colours of the black cap that's the on the winner for Patrick Hogan the red colours is uh, one of Martin Eden's two uh, strips Cirque um, and on the outside inside that is Boomerang Armin the red green and white colours of Graham Clutterbuck's Boomerang Armin and the back of the field the lilac colours of Dave Hooley as they jump the next so Rav Corbett the leader for Alex Cherry a long way still to go from in second Quake, that'll be Paul Rose's Quake in second. They jump the next, a very slow jump by uh, Leaf River for Darren Thompson. Loses a few places, and not on land in there, Leaf River. So, a covered leader from Quake in second. The Grey Horse is Argos Judith, who was at the back early on, has crept up into the race, has moved up into third. A Leaf River, given time to recover back in fourth. On the outside, that is Thistle down the window. Travelling wide is Cairo. Cirque, past a few in between horses now. Boomerang Armen is on the rail, then comes Silver Coup for James Shea, and at the back of the field, Long Stay seems to be pushed along for a stride or two. It was prominent early and has dropped to the back of the field for David, Dave, Dave Hooley, but he's only about 10 lengths off this leader, Rab Corbett, and it's still Alex Cherry's Rab Corbett who takes him along from the turquoise and pink stripes of David Robertson's Glass Judith has now moved up into second, he's creeping closer all the while. Then comes Quake for Paul Rhodes, they jump the next. And on the outside of Quake is Thistledown the Window, who's jumping closer. Then comes Leaf River for Darren Thompson. Out still wide is Cairo. On that one's inside is Cirque for Martin Needham. On the rail is Boomerang Armin for Darren Graham Clutterback. Then James Shea's Silver's Coup with, at the back of the field. We have Dave Hoody's Long Stay. They're past the winning post for the penultimate time ahead out on their final circuit as Rab Corbett who leads from Ardglass Judith in second on that one's outside is Thistle Down to Winder for Patrick Hogan on the rail is Quake for Paul Rhodes moving closer is Cairo he's gone wide the whole way though on the outside of Leaf River for Darren Thompson. Then comes Graham Clutterbuck's Boomerang Armin. Cirque is just behind that. In the back of the field is Silver Coup and Longstow. They're still in touch. Everything still has a, could still have a say in this as Rab Corbett comes to jump the next and jumps it well.
Up on the inside, Quake jumped it better than Odd Lost Judith. Out by the thistle down the window. On his inside is Cairo for Stu Gray. On the inside of that is a Leaf River for Darren Thompson. Three lengths back to Graham Clutterbuck's Boomerang Armin. As a jump, the next good jump by the leader. Also a good jump at the back by Silver Coup. Long stay is also past one, and the bot one that passes is Cirque. Martin Needham's or Cirque has dropped to the back of the field about 10 or 12 lengths off the loss of the leader and in danger of getting out of touch Cirque. We push along at the back to try and prove, but it's Rab Corbett still in front from Quake in second. Creeping closer, Cairo on the outside of Argos Judith. In between also Leaf River is trying to make a move. Then comes Boomerang Armin is still in with a shot. Thistle down the windows lost a few places. Long stay and Silver Coup still have a sh uh, still have some sort of a chance and Cirque's all on the ground to make up. They jump the next. Rab Corbett still in front from the inside Quake. In on the outside Thistle down the window now making a move. Then comes Leaf River and Cairo being pushed along. In between also Argos Judith no move from that yet. They jump the next. Come for the back of the field. Long stay is trying to improve. Cirque is out of it. It's the Rab Corbett in front from Thistle down to Windy. Here comes Long Stay from the back of the field for Dave Hooley. Beyond that, Argos Judith being pushed along. Also trying to run on now is Boomerang Arman for Graham Clatterback. Thistle down to Windy gets to the front for Patrick Hogan, but he's getting wary. And here comes Long Stay on the outside. Rab Corbett up on the inside is also starting to fade. Quake is running on with Leaf River and also Boomerang Arman, but in front it's Long Stay for Dave Hooley. Trying to run on now, Quake and Leaf River. Leaf River is trying to close with Quake, but still Long Stay in front for Dave Hoody. Dave Hoody's long stay, about two, three lengths clear now. Long stay, two lengths clear of Leaf River and Quake. They are getting closer. Long stay, still in front. Here comes Leaf River and Quake. Boomerang Armen on the outside on the run on these are just Judith. They come to the next. Quake, it's long stay, still in front for Dave Hoody from Quake and Leaf River out wide. Odd Lost Judith trying to mount a challenge. It's Long Stay. Leaf River on the inside. He's still trying to super system challenge, but Long Stay is finding more up front. Long Stay for Dave Hoody from on the inside. Leaf River. Long Stay. Leaf River. The jockey stops riding on Long Stay. What was he thinking? For some reason, there's a lot of jockeys who like to stop riding in starter's orders. And then yet again, another one. And I think Long Stay's gone collared on the post. A long stay, yeah, he gets beat by Lee Forever, but I mean, he shouldn't have been beaten at all. Poor riding from the jockey. No no need for that. He wasn't that far clear to stop riding. Lee Forever wins for Darren Thompson from long stay for Dave Woody back in second, who should have really won the race. Quake was third for Paul Rhodes. Argloss Judith was a fourth for David Robertson. Those are the four that qualify for the Moore's Million final.